Meanwhile, fire to the north. Oh boy, cutscene. Maybe? Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all... What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe... Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. Our moment of glory draws near, and I want results. As you wish, General. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? That's General Guys, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's General Guys because Glade knew. Strange creature named Fuse, but doing so, report back to Mayor Bram and Aurora. Oh, I can choose which one to go to. Yeah, um, hmm, what am I trying to say here? Uh, I got a card with Gaius on it, so I was like, hmm, Gaius. Here are I those materials that. you asked for, Fail. I knew that Great. name. Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. I'd like to upgrade our weapons. Beast spears, while primitive, have finely chiseled stone tips that we can use for arrowheads. If you could bring me eight beast spears, I'll buy them for a high price. Do I have beast beast spears? Oops. Um. Ba -bum -ba -bum. I don't think I have any. Ah. Oh! Okay, I got a note from her. Alright, I'll do that eventually. Let's talk to Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, hello. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no, that could only be Denham Village. Uh, did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard, wore strange armor, called himself Fuse. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moon blood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for moon blood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally, but tragedy tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck. Thank you. Alrighty, let's find that other fella who was on the other side of something. <sighs> it's early, so I'm yawning. Apologies. What do you got for me? Oh, dust. We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Actually, maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. I'll do what I can, if I can manage to find him. I don't get it. Why would anyone 
even want to help those awful lizard things. That fuse guy burned down an entire village. Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius's hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. That's what I was going to do. Hello, Ginger. Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Dedham Village, Ginger, slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, then, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seemed lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked our village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius' soldiers. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer! Hey, ease off! Just can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name. You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice, and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry. Fidget, please, calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that, especially if they knew I was here. Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity, a kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland, and it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius' bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. came from the center of the village. What the fuck? Ah! What are these things? Monsters! Ginger, get down! No, ah! oh, I wanted that coin. <sighs> That's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. All right. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Roan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. Yeah, that doesn't sound ominous at all. <laughs> Alrighty, I need to find... Not you. Mosca? Where are you? <sighs> Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? Is... 
everything all right? We traveled to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh, no. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you, from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness. She must be alive. She must have escaped. Please, let me see it. What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? It just goes... Okay, so... That was that guy. What's up, Gianni? <laughs> what do you want? Is something wrong? Oh, everything is on fire! This is agony! Agony! Well, maybe having a poor defenseless boy wash your laundry way out in the woods isn't agreeing with you. Go for Go! Just leave me alone! Let me agonize in peace! Sweet revenge. Oh, sweet, sweet revenge. Um, now, where is that fella? His wife. Whoa! You scared me, Callum. You. Ah, Dust. Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I think I'll be alright. Just need some time to think, is all. Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. <laughs> it's that obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Huh. And it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm, just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really, you don't know how much this means to me. Yay. Um, I got a couple quests here. Dust to dust, Aurora's under attack, defeat the monsters and learn how they made it into the village. Ask me to explore the region around his farm and find his pocket watch. Eight beast spears. I believe that may be hiding in a hidden hidden cove after escaping from Denham. And the box. The box, the box, the box. Um, I'm gonna go check out down below and see if I can find anything down here. Kill those monsters and see what the fuck is going on. And then I might check out those notes that I've had sitting in my inventory for a very long time that I really should have been reading. A new region has been revealed. Oh. Hello. <laughs> well now, would you look at this? Seems our village has got itself a new basement. You don't seem too concerned. Trust me, not much happens here. So when things start crawling out of the ground, you pull up a chair and enjoy the show. Okay, Augustin, but promise me that you'll stay here. I don't need anyone getting hurt. Bah! Let you have all the fun? Well, I guess you're the one with the sword, after all. Get a sword yourself. And I'm sure you'll be able to fuck things up just as bad. Seriously, way to another arena thing? Boo. Get those out of here. There's zero interest in arena right now. I'll try it later, I guess, but... I'm in zero rush, honestly. <laughs> 